thought you had one, that last one. Well, I did too, Mark. If I'd have pulled that ball just a little bit or sliced it a little bit more to right center, I, I would have had one there. Well, we're all tied up at four to four, top half of the ninth inning, and we're coming right down to the end. High fly ball back deep in the left field. This could go. It's way back and gone over the left field wall. It's a five to four ball game with Calavito out in front. It's way back there, and it is ball to the left side. One out. One away. Rocky Calavito out in front by a score of five to four. High pop up. Two out. Two out. High Three pop ups, out. and that'll be all. Heads up, Mark. It may be in here. I'll duck. Nope, landed right in front of us. That's all, but Rocky Calavito picks up a home run in the top half of the ninth inning, and at the end of eight and a half innings of play, it's Rocky Calavito five, Harmon Killebrew four. Well, it's five to four, the last half of the ninth inning. Harmon Killebrew, last bats. Swing right. and a miss. One out. One away. The pressure's really on. I'd say so. <laughs> High fly ball down the left field line. This could tie it up. It's going, going, gone over the left field wall. And it's all tied up at five to five. An exciting contest here on Home Run Derby. Harmon Killebrew now has the upper hand. Only one away. The last half of the ninth inning tied up at five to five. Killer pups one up ball out of play for an out. Remember, in the event that Killebrew does not hit another home run. We'll go into extra innings. Ground ball, and that's all in the ninth inning. But it's a run in for Harmon Killebrew. And we go into extra innings at the end of nine complete. Rocky Calavito, five. Harmon Killebrew, five. He is a master driver. His job is to measure what computers cannot. You emotionally, because that is the ultimate luxury. The newly redesigned Infinity G Coupe. This is inspired performance. This is the way of infinity. Get your career cooking, literally, with LaCordon Blue Training. You could train as a culinary professional and work at restaurants, resorts, bakeries, catering companies, and more. Call now for a career guide. Free! Call a Le Cordon Blue School at 800-713-6094. That's 800-713-6094. Call now. First and second round coverage of the Masters, April 8th and 9th on ESPN. Back to home run derby. And I see that Rocky is all ready to go here. The top half of the 10th inning. This is another first in home run derby. The first extra inning contest. In the ballpark for an out. One away in the 10th. High fly ball into center field. Two away. Out there in the sun a little. High fly ball down the left field line. It's going. It's going. It is caught. Three up out. against the wall. Almost, but not quite. And that's all. And going now to the bottom of the 10th inning, the score. Rocky Calavito, five. Harmon Killebrew, five. Rocky, that one just wasn't quite far enough. About all you can do now is sit back here and hope and pray. That's right. Uh, just didn't make it. Uh, about halfway up the wall, and that was all. One out! It's one out. That might be a $2,000 hit. It's going, going. Open the top and... Yes, over sir! Over run. A dramatic finish here as Harmon Killebrew hits the top of the wall. The ball bounced over for a home run, and Killebrew wins it in extra innings by a score of six to five. Come on in, fellas. 
Rocky, it was a whale of a contest that went right down to an exciting finish. First, here's a check for $500 for the three consecutive home runs that you hit in the sixth inning. That's one. Here's a check for $1,000 with our congratulations and the hope that we'll be seeing you on Home Run Derby again in the very near future. Congratulations for a fine performance. Thank you, Mark. Good luck, Harmon. Thanks a lot, Rocky. Well, Harmon, I only have one check here for you, but it's for $2,000 for winning. That makes a total of $4,000 in all that you've won so far on Home Run Derby. Now, next week, you're going to meet another slugging third baseman, this time from the National League. His name, Ken Boyer. That's right, Mark, and I've seen him in the All-Star game, and he did a terrific job, and I'm looking forward to a real hot contest next week. It certainly should be that. Congratulations. Good luck next week. Thanks a lot, Mark. Join us at Home Plate again next week when Harmon Killebrew will meet Ken Boyer in another exciting contest on Home Run Derby. Home Run Derby is produced with multiple cameras. The players' interviews being recorded simultaneously with the contest. time for Stump the Schwab. I'm Stuart Scott, presiding over another dust-up down in the research room. This is the show where sports fans climb a mountain of trivia only to find ESPN's abominable stat man waiting up at the top. Y'all know who I'm talking about. He is the Albert Einstein of all things athletic. He is the Schwab. Yo, Schwabby, how do you get pumped up before a show? I mean, do you ever listen to, like, you know, Fire them up music or anything like that? I love listening to Journey. I'm a big Journey fan, Steve Perry fan. Steve Perry is like an angel. Really? When the lights go down in the city. Who sings that song? Who sings that? Journey. Let them do it. <laughs> it's a little bit of advice, but don't stop believing, Schwabby. Don't stop believing. Because we got three contestants on board tonight who have come to play. Let's say what up to them. First up, he is a substitute teacher who rocks out to Pearl Jam. Please don't sing and likes to make up rhymes. He likes to make up rhymes, huh? From Michigan, Luke Symbol. <laughs> My man is an appliance salesman who arranges all his clothes by color. Sounds kind of like Garanimals to me. All the way from Folsom, California, Tim Shepler. <laughs> and this guy's had 10 surgeries, 10 of them, all sports related. And he says he can't even play any sports. From Southeastern Massachusetts, Andy Connors. So Andy, I don't, I don't quite understand. You say that you ain't got no game, but you've had 10 surgeries. So like, what have you heard? Shoulders, ankles, I've knees? had four surgeries on my shoulder, right. uh, my right shoulder, mm -hmm. and six on my left knee. Right. Oh, that was all from basketball. Don't get hurt here. I'll try not to. Be careful as you step down off that podium. Thank you. All right. One of y'all is going to make it to tonight's final round and claim a $1,000 prize. If you can stump the Schwab there, you win $5,000 more and put yourself in the running to win over 50 grand. But let's, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Our first game tonight is called Leading Off. Here's how it goes down. I'm going to throw out a question that has multiple answers. One by one, our contestants and the Schwab will give an answer. Each correct response is worth one point. If you are wrong, you're out for only that one question. At the end of the first game, the contestant with the lowest score dismissed from the research room. Let's play leading off. Andy, we're going to start with you. Name the top 20 NFL running backs in career rushing yards entering the 2005 season. Emmett Smith. Correct. Tim. Barry Sanders. Correct. Luke. 
Walter Payton. Correct. Schwab. Jerome the Bus Bettis. Correct. Andy. Curtis Martin. Correct. Tim. Jim Brown. Correct. Luke. Thurman Thomas. Correct. Schwab. Eddie George. Correct. Andy. Eric Dickerson. Correct. Tim. O.J. Simpson. Correct. Luke. Franco Harris. Correct. Schwab. Tony Dorsett. Correct. Andy. Need an answer. You're out for this round. Tim. Marshall Falk. Correct. Luke. Gail Sayers. Incorrect. Out for this round. Schwab. Corey Dillon. Correct. Tim. Marcus Allen. Correct. Schwab. Ricky Waters. What? <laughs> what? Big ups, Tim. Come on, Tim. Come on, Tim. Uh, J uh, John Riggins. Ah, with my encouragement. Schwab. Earl Campbell. Schwab says what? What? Come uh, on, Tim. Otis Anderson. Oh, correct. Schwab. Terry Allen. Correct. Tim. Oh, he's in. Uh, Tim, look at me for a second. Yeah. Guess what? Nobody else to get. Uh. <laughs> Nice job, Tim. Let's take a look at the scores. Rob has seven. Andy has three. Tim has seven. And Luke has three. This is the next topic in leading off. Tim, we're starting with you. Name the 21 pitchers who have struck out 275 or more batters in a major league season since 1901. Randy Johnson. Correct. Luke. Roger Clemens. Correct. Schwa. Pedro Martinez. Correct. Andy. Nolan Ryan. Correct. Tim. Walter Johnson. Correct. Luke. Johan Santana. Incorrect. You're out for this round. Schwab. Kurt Schilling. Correct. Andy. Sandy Koufax. Correct. Tim. David Cohn. Incorrect. You're out for this one round. Schwab. Dwight Gooden. Correct. Andy. Uh, Brett Saberhagen. Incorrect. Out for this one round. Schwab, can you give us any more? Yes, Denny McLean. All right, you pick up an extra point for that. Can you now show off? Vita Blue yep. did it. Steve Carlton did it. J.R. Richard did it. Let's take a look at the scores. Schwab has 11. Andy has 5. Tim has 9. And Luke has 4. This is the last leading off. And Luke, we're going to start with you. 15 American men and women have won four or more Olympic gold medals in individual and relay swimming events. Name them. Michael Phelps. Correct. Schwab. Mark Spitz. Correct. Andy. Jenny Thompson. Correct. Tim. Janet Evans. Correct. Luke. Matt Biondi. Correct. Schwab. Gary Hall Jr. Correct. Andy. Summer Sanders. Incorrect. Out for this round. Tim. Need something? Yeah, nothing. Nothing out for this round. Not. Luke. Need an answer, Luke. Natalie Coughlin. Coughlin. Incorrect. Out for this round. Schwab. Amy Van Dyken. Correct. Dara Torres is another one. Uh -huh. John Neighbor. And of course, how are you guys going to forget Tarzan? John Johnny Weissmuller. Wow, that goes back. <laughs> Let's take a look at the scores. Schwab has 14, oh. Andy has 6, Tim has 10, and Luke has 6. We have a tie. Got to do a tiebreaker with you guys. One of you's going home, one of you's moving on, all right? You got a notebook under your desk. It's got a pen. It's got paper. It's got your name on it. I have a tiebreak question. I'll read the question. You all listen to it and write your answer down. Whoever either gets the answer or gets closest. And we don't care if you go over, under. It doesn't matter. You just have to get it or be closest, OK? Here's a tiebreak question. Andy, Luke. Jack Nicholas is a six-time Masters champion. How many times has Jack Nicholas made the cut at the Masters? You guys got your answers? Pass your paper down.
I'll read the question again. Jack Nicholas is a six-time Masters champion. How many times has Jack Nicholas made the cut at the Masters? Luke, you answered 35. That's good. You're very close. Andy, your answer is 37. The correct answer is Andy's answer on the nose. 37 times Jack Nicholas has made the cut. A tiebreaker with the exact correct answer. Andy, nice going. Luke, the bad news is you won't be playing in the next round. The good news is we have some fine Corinthian leather for you backstage. Do you have, like, a rhyme for us on the way out since you write poetry? Um, Luke? I know I might not have... I, might, I know I didn't come here to... And I wasn't number one, but at least I got to meet you all, and at least I had some fun. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> yeah, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Andy, Tim, a thousand bucks and a chance for much more is still out there for you guys. But only one of you can advance to the Schwab Showdown, and whoever does, I'll give you a hug, too. We'll find out who does advance after the break. All right, here's the deal. Your Bridgestone tires. Oh, your life! <laughs> Life? For drivers who want to get the most out of their cars, it's Bridgestone or nothing. If you feel fraud or identity theft only happens to other people, then don't bother watching this commercial. I've taken precautions all my life to protect my identity. I've been in law enforcement all my life, and my identity was stolen. Did you know that identity theft has topped the Federal Trade Commission's list of consumer complaints for the last eight years? It's a serious problem with anyone with a social security number, and it continues to get worse. Fact is, on your own, there are many things you can do to deter identity theft. Protect your social security number, shred and destroy, be internet savvy, use intricate passwords, safeguard your purse and wallet. Seriously, are you really going to do all that? No, really, are you going to do all that for you and your family? At LifeLock, the gold standard in identity theft protection, we're here to help. We take proactive steps to deter identity theft to help stop it before it happens. LifeLock identity theft protection can be yours for just $10 a month. Call 800-792-8552. When you are a victim of identity theft, from that point, your whole entire life is spent trying to protect your identity. And I say trying because it's a full-time job just trying to protect your identity. If your identity is stolen, nothing can be more frustrating or more time-consuming than cleaning up afterwards. At LifeLock, all we do is think of ways to help protect your identity. And if you do become a victim of identity theft while a member of LifeLock because of a failure in our service, we help you fix it and work toward restoring your good name. It's part of our $1 million total service guarantee. This peace of mind comes included with your $10 a month LifeLock membership. Sign up now and we'll send you a paper shredder to help keep your identity even safer. For LifeLock peace of mind at just $10 a month and to receive your paper shredder, call now and mention shredder. Call 800-792-8552. Call 800-792-8552 now. That's 800-792-8552. Or visit LifeLock.com. When the blackout happened and the entire world saw the future, we all wondered, would our visions come true? Soon, our lives will change in ways we've never imagined, as more secrets are revealed. This is our destiny! All of us will face the most shocking possibility of all. No! There's gonna be another blackout. ABC's Flash Forward. All new episodes begin Thursday, March 18th at 8, 7 central on ABC. takes on Notre Dame at 7, then at 9. Fourth-ranked Duke battles number 23 Maryland on ESPN. What the deal is, Stuart Scott back here in the house with Andy Tim and the man who's got a serious crush on Danica Patrick, the squad. She drives real, real fast. All right, guys, 
We're clearing the scoreboard for this next and all deciding game. Whoever wins this will get $1,000 in the chance to face the Schwab for another five Gs. Now, Schwabby, as I'm sure you know, the days of star athletes spending their career with one team over. These days, players move from one team to another to another. But in the research room, you got to keep track of that. You got to know where the ballers have played. That's what our next game is all about. It's called Journeyman, and here's how you play. We'll give you an athlete and a list of teams he has played for. You got to put the teams in chronological order. You'll each get three lists. You have 15 seconds for the first two lists and 20 seconds for the third. Use the paper and pens provided. But when the clock stops, you have to stop writing and give me your answers immediately. Let the journey begin. Andy, we're going to start with you. Your athlete, Kerry Collins. The teams he's played for, Giants, Panthers, Raiders, Saints. Put them in the correct order. Your 15 seconds starts now. You know, Stewart, great athlete, Kerry Collins. High school basketball player. He was second team All-State in Pennsylvania. Baseball player drafted by both the Tigers and Blue Jays. Kids got skills. Pin down, time's up, need your answers. Panthers, Saints, Giants, Raiders. Schwab? That is correct. Nice run. Picked up all four points. Nice job, Andy. All right, Tim. Your athlete, Rod Woodson. The teams he's played for, Raiders, Ravens, 49ers, Steelers. Put them in the correct order. Your 15 seconds begins now. Rod Woodson, also a great athlete. In college at Purdue, not only played college football, but four-time Big Ten indoor track and field champ at the 55-meter hurdles. And he could hit. Give us your answers, Tim. Uh, the Steelers, 49ers, Ravens, and the Raiders. We're tied. That's correct. We got ballers. High score, 4-4. Four four. Andy, you're up. Your athlete, Andy, Theo Ratliff. The teams that he's played for, in no particular order, Sixers, Blazers, Pistons, Hawks. Put them in the correct order. Your 15 seconds starts now. Interesting stat about Theo Ratliff. In college at Wyoming, he was voted to the Wyoming All-Century Team. Pretty good. Along with Finnis Dembo, I'm sure. Finnis Dembo, that's right. Love the name, Finnis Dembo. Time's up! Immediately pinned down. Give us your answers, Andy. Pistons, Sixers, Hawks, Blazers. That, too, is correct. Andy has gone a perfect eight for eight so far. You lead Tim eight to four. Tim, your next athlete, Stefan Marbury. These are the teams he's played for in no particular order. Knicks, Timberwolves, Suns, Nets. Put them in the correct order. Your 15 seconds starts now. Stuart, I remember back in 1995, great preseason NIT matchup. Stefan Marbury against Allen Iverson. Great game. Iverson outplayed Marbury. Iverson's Hoyas won that game. Tim, you're just waiting on us, man. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tim. Go ahead. It's your world. Um, we're going to have the Timberwolves, uh, the Nets, the Suns, and the Knicks. Again, four for four. You're right. <laughs> Guys, we're tied eight to eight. Each of you gets one more. And remember, for this last one, you get 20 seconds extra. All right, Andy, your athlete, Jay Payton. The teams that he's played for, no particular order, and there are five of them. Rockies, A's, Padres, Mets, Red Sox. Put them in the correct order. Your 20 seconds starts now. Jay Payton, a great player, college baseball player at Georgia Tech. Back in 1994, pretty amazing in the short season. He had 102 RBI. Tick, 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 tick. Pin is down. He no clown. He likes to do it. Don't frown. <laughs> Andy, give us your answers. Mets, Rockies, Padres, Red Sox, A's. Wow. That is correct. Five for five. Andy has run the table. So far, 13 for 13. Tim, you know what you got to do? You got to yep. do what he did. You got to do what you've done. You got to get all of them right. All right? Okay. Your athlete, Tim, Tony Clark, the teams he's played for in no particular order, and there are five of them, Diamondbacks, Red Sox, Tigers, Mets, Yankees. Put them in the correct order. Your 20 seconds starts now. 
Tony Clark, not only a great baseball player, but also played basketball in college. He attended both Arizona and San Diego State. And some people may remember he was a number two overall draft pick in 1990. Baseball draft behind Chipper Jones. Big tall brother, 6'7", want to hit you. Tick, 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 tick. All right, give us your order, Tim. Um, Tigers, Mets, Yankees, Red Sox, Diamondbacks. I'm sorry, Tim, that's incorrect. The correct answer is Tigers, Red Sox, Mets, Yankees, and then Diamondbacks. Oh, Tim, you was rolling, you was rolling. But with the score 13 to 10, Tim, good race came up just short. But backstage, dog, we have a box of raisins for you, of course. <laughs> and you a big brother, so we'll add some donuts with that, all right? <laughs> and a Schwabby head down. Up next, Andy will try and box out the round mound of research. Andy's already got a thousand bucks just for making it to the Schwab Showdown. That showdown coming up, sit and What? Giant peanut with sea salt. Dude, you're freaking me out. Hey, getting really sick of this, Gary. Planters with pure sea salt. I'm on the road more now than when I play football. So I maximize results with a quick 15-minute workout. Skin's another part of my body. I keep strong with Vaseline Men Fast Absorbing Lotion. Just 15 seconds for stronger, more resilient skin with Vaseline Men. It begins with a brush stroke, a simple yet powerful line, uniting engineering and emotion, connecting driver to road, separating infinity from every other luxury car in the world. The newly redesigned Infiniti G sedan. This is inspired performance. This is the way of infinity. May I help you? Yes, uh, I hear Progressive has lots of discounts on car insurance. Can I get in on that? Are you a safe driver? Yes. Discount. Do you own a home? Yes. Discount. Are you gonna buy online? Yes. Discount. <laughs> Isn't getting discounts great? Yes. There's no discount for agreeing with me. Yeah, I got carried away. It happens to me all the time. Helping you save money. Now that's Progressive. Call or click today. Inventors, do you have an idea for an invention or a new product? InventHelp can help you try to patent your idea and submit it to companies. InventHelp is America's largest invention company with sales offices in over 50 cities nationwide. Call today for your free information. Here's Reggie! Yeah! What if I told you he was the reason the city never slept? Winning time, Reggie Miller versus the New York Knicks. Directed by Dan Cloris. Sunday, March 14th at 9. Part of ESPN Films 30 for 30. First and second round coverage of the Masters, April 8th and 9th on ESPN. Hi, I'm John Chair, CEO and founder of Video Professor. I'm the guy that gives away all the free computer learning lessons. Well, I've given away hundreds of thousands of my free computer learning lessons, and I'm not done yet. If you call right now, I'm going to send you this learning CD free. Do you want to join the millions of people who are making money on eBay? Now, I'm not going to tell you that I can make you the next millionaire selling an attic full of baseball cards. But I can guarantee you I'll teach you everything you need to know about eBay. And with over 60 lessons on all of today's most popular computer programs, I know that there's more you're going to want to learn. If you call right now, I'm going to send you this learning CD free. Try my product. Call now and get your great learning CD absolutely free. You'll see how fast and easy you can learn eBay, Windows, Excel, PowerPoint, or any other video lesson. Call now to get the skills you need to succeed. Just pay shipping and processing. Call 1-800-260-8492. That's 1-800-260-8492. Back in the research room for tonight's main event. These two guys have been dancing around each other all night. It's time to get it on. Our gritty challenger, Andy, already has $1,000, but he would love to knock out the Schwab and walk away with even more. You ready? I'm ready. You confident? Yeah, I'm confident. Skirt. Er. Skirt. Oh. All right, Andy. <laughs> it's time for the Schwab showdown, and here's how you play. Four categories. Each category contains three questions worth one, two, and three points. 
For every incorrect answer, you get a strike. Three strikes, you're out. You also have one pass. You can pass a question to your opponent and make him answer, but you only get one pass. Tonight's categories are beginner's luck, questions about major league rookies of the year, busting out, we're talking big contract busts in the NFL, off-field carnage, all about athletes who sustain injuries off the playing field, and from Russia with love, questions about Russian tennis players. Andy, this is your chance to stump the Schwab, because you're going to pick the categories that Schwab has to answer. Schwabby, you'll pick the categories that Andy has to answer. Let's do this. Andy, pick your first category for the Schwab. I'll go with uh, busting out for one. For one point, Schwab, what receiver who signed a seven-year contract worth $35 million with the Falcons in 2003 was cut by the team in training camp in 2005? That would be Peerless Price. Peerless Price for Buffalo Bill is correct. One point for Schwab. Category for Andy. Uh, let's try Beginner's Luck one. For one point, Andy. Who was the 2004 American League Rookie of the Year? Two thousand and four American League Rookie of the Year. My well, book only went up in two thousand and three. Still, uh, Mark Kotze. Incorrect. The correct answer is Bobby Crosby. One strike. Category for Schwab. Off-field carnage for one. For one point, Schwab. What sixth overall pick in the 2004 NFL Draft got into a devastating motorcycle accident in 2005? Kellen Winslow Jr. That is correct. One point for Schwab. <laughs> Schwab, you lead 2 nothing. Category for Andy. From Russia with love, one. Andy, for one point. After winning Wimbledon in 2004, Maria Sharapova was unable to defend her title in 2005, losing in the semifinals to whom? Lindsay Davenport? That is incorrect. Venus Williams, it was a great match. He is correct. Correct answer was Venus Williams. Two strikes, Andy. Category for Schwab. With, from Russia with love for two. For two points, Schwab. Name the two Russian tennis players who have won a Grand Slam men's singles title. Evgeny Kafelnikov. Correct. Marat Safin. That is correct as well. Two more points for Schwab. Shut up so far. Four zip Schwab. Category for Andy. We'll try beginner's luck too. Remember, Andy, you do have a pass. And you have two strikes. For two points, Andy. What first baseman was voted the 1959 National League Rookie of the Year despite playing only 52 games in the majors that year? 1959, first baseman, National League Rookie of the Year, and he only played in 52 games in the majors that year. You do have a pass. I'm going to pass. Schwab, he's passing it to you. You going to answer it? Yeah, I am. Willie McCovey. Willie McCovey is correct. Two more points for Schwab. Schwab has six. Andy and I are tied. I'm not even playing. Category for Schwab. Go with busting out for two. For two points, Schwab. After signing a $25 million contract with the Jets in 1996, what quarterback played in only six games as the team went 1-15? and 15? Uh, Can you repeat the year, please? After signing a $25 million contract with the Jets in 1996, what quarterback played in only six games as the team went 1-15? and 15? Free agent. Neil O'Donnell. That is correct. Two more points for Schwab. That was tough. Okay. Category for Andy. Or field carnage, too. For two points. Chance to get on the board. Andy. 
who was named Sports Illustrated 1989 Sportsman of the Year two years after being seriously wounded in a hunting accident. Sports Illustrated 1989 Sportsman of the Year two years after being seriously wounded in a hunting accident. And you have used your pass. Greg Lamont. That is correct, and he gets on the board. Schwab leads eight to two. Category for Schwab, Andy. Go with uh, from Russia with love for three. For three points, Schwab. What two Russian women faced off in the final of the 2004 U.S. Open? Svetlana Kuznetsova won the tournament. Zoom tight, correct? She beat Elena Dementieva in the final. That is correct. Schwab, three points. Scores 11 to two. Category for Andy. Beginner's luck, three. For three points, Andy, who is the only player to win a Rookie of the Year award while playing for the Milwaukee Brewers? Only player to win Rookie of the Year while playing for the Milwaukee Brewers. B.J. Serhoff? That is incorrect. Pat Listash? Pat Listash is there. correct. He won it in 1992. Andy, that's your third strike. Ball game. Schwabi did have home field advantage tonight. Yeah. He played well, yeah. but with the score 11 to 2, not good enough. Very tough to walk out of here with the win. The Schwab did some quick work tonight. He remains the reigning undisputed chap of sports trivia. Tune in next time to see if any has what it takes to stop the Schwab. Until then, I'm Stuart Scott with the bat. I would go sell. I would never do. Hugs and hand -tongues. Zoom, you can take care of virtually all your important legal matters in just minutes. Now it's quicker and easier for you to start your business, protect your family, and launch your dreams. At LegalZoom.com, we put the law on your side. All I knew was I wanted to work on electronics, obviously. I wanted to have a really successful career at it. My name is Nathaniel Carpenter. I am an information systems analyst. Well, I got my education from ITT Technical Institute. My wife thinks that my choice to go to ITT Tech has definitely helped me to reach the goals that I have for myself, my wife, and our life together. To be able to pick and choose where we want to go and also the lifestyle that we want to live. What I liked about ITT Tech was the fact that um, I liked everything about ITT Tech. <laughs> We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute, education for the future. Call 1-800-488-3116 or visit us on the web. Get an education that can help you reach your goals. ITT Tech has information on financial aid for those who qualify. Call 1-800-488-3116. Ah, Otto. Sir, finding everything okay? I work for a different insurance company. My auto policy is just getting a little too expensive. With Progressive, you get the name your price option, so we build a policy to fit your budget. Wow, the price gun. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wish we had this. We just tell people what to pay. Yeah, we're the only ones that do. I love your insurance. Bill? Tom? Hey, it's an office party. The freedom to name your price, only from Progressive. Call or click today. I may be in my pajamas right now, but I'm not going to bed. I'm going to college online. Education Connection will connect you to the right online college for free. Log on to myschoolnow.com. That's myschoolnow.com. on Notre Dame at 7, then at 9. Fourth-ranked Duke battles number 23 Maryland on ESPN. Welcome again.
again, sports fans. ESPN's two-minute drill summer-long tournament continues. We're in a first-round game here, $5,000 at stake, a possibility of $10,000 at the end of the show if the question of great significance can be answered correctly. Moving toward the conclusion in September, we're giving away less than a billion dollars this summer. Let's introduce our panel. It's a good group, all of them top athletes in the world. David Thompson is with us. Thanks for being around. In baseball, Dave Winfield is here. The champion swimmer, Brooke Bennett, is with us. And the old tackle football player, ESPN Zone, Todd Christensen, is with us. Thank you all for being around. You know, is that story apocryphal, or is it true that you actually jumped up and grabbed a quarter, a 50-cent piece, or whatever it was, off top of a backboard? I could get the top, but the legend was I could take a, a quarter off and leave two dimes in a nipple. I didn't have that much hang time. <laughs> I, I had the privilege of seeing you play because I'm from Seattle. You got some years up there. You had so many great years in both leagues. Which one overall, though, was really more fun, being sort of the pioneer in the ABA or coming to the NBA? Well, the first year was exciting, the ABA with uh, Dr. J, George Gervin, and all the great young players. But in the NBA, you got to play against all the great players. So that was great as well. What, what, what kind of guys do you look at right now that, that remind you either of you or just you pay money to go watch? Well, um, I like Kobe Bryant, uh, Vince Carter, all the guys that can really leap. And uh, Allen Iverson's a great ball player, too. And what do you got going right now? Well, I, I'm a motivational speaker for U.S. Sports out of Charlotte and uh, just uh, trying to talk to young people about making intelligent life choices. More importantly, you're a panelist on the two-minute drill right now, so concentrate on that. Stay with it. We're going to talk to you guys in just a little bit right now. We're going to talk about the rules in the first round. Every question answered correctly is worth one point. Each of our panelists has four questions. If the contestant gets all four answered correctly, a bonus point is awarded. So in the first round, 20 points are possible. Let's start this game. Bring them on up. He is Joseph Jojo Brunoli. Lives near Philadelphia. Says you're a uh, salesman of promotional items. Yes. So you're just selling a bunch of crap, and it gives you free time then Basically. to put together <laughs> databases and host online trivia. Yes, Salesmen are always like that, right? Just as long as you hit your number, it doesn't really matter what you do. Bottom line, it doesn't matter. Took a day off today to be here with you guys. And, and when you uh, do those online uh, online games, is that sort of almost preparation then for a show like that? Absolutely. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, do about 30 questions in about 60 minutes, and... Um, it's absolutely fine. It's did, great. Did you watch the first series of the show and, and look at those people and say, I can do that? I, I can do that. Absolutely. Yes, I right. did. <laughs> Your specialty, 50 point scores since the ABA NBA merger. A lot of our contestants have been choosing that as their specialty. <laughs> I um, thought it'd be a little bit different. And you just, you know, basketball and you keep track of the high point total? Yes, absolutely. It? It's fun. Um, basketball. I just I always loved Dr. J growing up watching the Sixers and everything. Uh, what about this guy? Awesome. David Thompson. Wow. Just. Awesome. NC State when they beat UCLA, it was just, you know, great. 74, sure. All right, hold that uh, thought because that would happen at the end of the show in the question <laughs> of great significance. Right now you got to get through the first round. Let's go over the categories. Right. David Thompson has Denver Nuggets. Okay. Easy enough. Dave has, we don't need no stinking minors. He's talking about the players who did not need the minors to All succeed. Right. Brooke is going with Gold Rush, talking about the Olympics, but not just swimming. Okay. And Todd is going with tight ends. Just thought we'd keep it pretty simple there. <laughs> All right, you ready to play? Sure, let's rock. Your two-minute drill begins now. Dave Winfield, please. Which Hall of Famer went straight from the University of Minnesota to the Padres in 1973? Dave Winfield. True. Which Oklahoma State slugger named Inky skipped the minors and later became a power hitter with the Texas Rangers? Peter Cavillion. Right. Right. 1989, which helmet-wearing, sweet-swinging first baseman jumped from Washington State to the Blue Jays? John Oliver. True. Name the 1978 National League Rookie of the Year who jumped from Arizona State to the Braves. Bob Horner. That's right, he's done. David Thompson. Which finger-waving former Nugget is the team's all-time leader in block shots? The Kemba Motumba. Of course. What top seed? Seeded team did the ace seeded Nuggets beat in their stunning 1994 playoff upset? Seattle Supersonics. Right. Which Nugget was the only player to ever be named MVP both an ABA and NBA All-Star game? David Thompson. True. Which Nugget forward is the franchise's all-time leading scorer? Dennis. No, Alex English. He's done. Ty Christensen. Which five-time Pro Bowler of the 80s is the Raiders team leader in career receptions by a tight end? Ty Christensen. True. Which 1987 Pro Bowl tight end from the Giants used to do squats with manhole covers on the bar? Mark Rivera. Right. From 1996 through 2000, which Tennessee Titan caught the most regular season passes of any NFL tight end? Frank Whitehead. Right. Which Patriots tight end was named to the Pro Bowl for three straight seasons in the 70s? Pass. Russ Francis. 
Brooke Bennett. Which American sprinter wore gold shoes in the finals of the 1996 Olympics in the men's 200 meter dash? Michael Johnson. Right. Pablo Morales won three medals at the 1984 Olympics in what sport? Hurdles. Swimming. Name the Soviet weightlifter who won gold in super heavyweight class at the 72 and 76 Olympics. Pass. I'll get it later. Which 17-year-old American won the gold medal in the decathlon at the 1948 London Olympics? Pass. Matthias, Bob Matthias. You had a lot of time to contemplate that, but you missed that one. It was Vasily Alexiev, the name I couldn't Terrible. get out in a short time. I didn't want to cheat you on your time, but you did quite no well. 11 points. You get the bonus from Dave because you got all his right. You moved to 12. You're in the lead. Swap places. We'll find out who has the lead after one round anyway. It's Vinod Velikaturi. Vinod Velikaturi from Lee's Summit, Missouri. A physician. What kind of physician? Internal medicine. I'm a, essentially a doctor for adults. Mm -hmm. And uh, the adults behaving? Do you have to give them candy or anything at the end of the... Well, I'm not sure how good my advice is. Not enough people are exercising or watching what they eat, so... You look like you're in good shape. Are you a runner? No, I uh, do uh, some exercise at home. I tore my ACL uh, playing pickup basketball. So you couldn't operate on yourself then because you're more of an internist. You're especially the 97 Kansas City Chiefs because you're from Missouri. Yes. and Actually, I'm you're from India originally, right? Why don't you tell us that story? India. How did you get over here? Uh, I came here when I was 10 years old. Uh, my dad had come here the year before, and my mom and I subsequently followed the year before, uh, essentially looking for better opportunities in life. And uh, in India, they don't have a two-minute drill, so I think you no, made the right no, choice, nothing as like far that. as I know. Let's see how you do in the first round. We're going to go over the uh, categories right now. David has marquee players. Dave is going yard. Those are home run. Brooke is going with Sunshine Staters. And again, it's not necessarily Olympians. And Todd is going with the American League of Football. All right, you ready to play? You're down 12-zip. Marky players. Wait, wait, Thompson. wait. I have to say this thing and then they roll music. Ready? Your two minute drill begins now. David Thompson. Who led the Atlanta Hawks in scoring every year from 1984 to 1991? Dominique Wilkins. Right. Name the Golden State Warrior who had back to back 51 point games in the 2000 2001 season. Antoine Jameson. That's right. Which guard led the San Antonio Spurs in scoring every year from 1977 to 1984? George Kirby. That's right. Which Kentucky Wildcats scored over 1,000 points in only two years of college ball, then entered the 1997 NBA draft? Uh, Ron Marshall. That's true. He's done. Dave Winfield. Name the hefty former Tiger who led the American League with 51 homers the year after he played in Japan. Cecil Cooper. Cecil Fielder. Which slugging star of the Pittsburgh Pirates had the most homers of any major league player in the 70s? Willie Stargell. That's right. Which Dodgers pitcher surrendered Hank Aaron's record-breaking 715th home run in 1974? Al Downing. That's right. Which former Met led the Brewers in homers in their final AL season as well as their first in the NL? Jeremy Burnett. That's right. He's done. Brooke Bennett. Which Fort Lauderdale native had seven 1,000-yard receiving seasons in the 1990s for Dallas Cowboys? Michael Irvin. Right. Which sometimes grumpy baseball player from Tampa clubbed 43 homers for the L.A. Dodgers in 2000? Gary Sheffield. True. Which red-headed native of Sanford, Florida won the Tennis Australian Open in both 1992 and 93? Jim Courier. True. Name the highly ranked male golfer from Jacksonville who won the 1999 Players' Championship. Pass. David Duvall. Todd Christian. After leaving the Cleveland Browns, Paul Brown became the first head coach of what AFL team? Uh, Cleveland Browns. No, Cincinnati. What team began playing in 1966 as the AFL's first expansion franchise? Miami Dolphins. Right. In the 60s, what Texas team won back-to-back -back AFL championships? Couldn't get out on time. That was the Houston Oilers. You did quite well. You get a bonus point by sweeping David. You go from 11 to 12. We got a tie after one round of play. You stay right there. By the way, Brooke wasn't actually saying that Gary Sheffield is sometimes grumpy. It wasn't Brooke. It was our writers who wrote that, the jerk. Stay around. We're coming back with a second round of play right after this. The rules are slightly different. We'll explain. ESPN's Two Minute Drill is brought to you by Original Coors. Nothing beats an original. And by Lee Dungarees. Can't bust them.
To play along with tonight's two-minute drill, log on to Enhanced TV at ESPN.com now. Time for the Saturn two-minute drill trivia question. What? Giant peanut with sea salt. Dude, you're freaking me out. I... Hey, getting really sick of this, Gary. Planters with pure sea salt. I never thought it would be so easy. I was done before I knew it. Staining was fast. The protective finish was flawless. So easy, I did it again. Minwax makes and keeps wood beautiful easily. Unlike other materials, healthy skin is able to become more resilient. Vaseline Men helps fortify skin, so instead of breaking down, it can grow stronger. Vaseline Men Lotions, for stronger, more resilient skin. National Debt Report. If you have any type of debt, call now for a free debt report. There are laws in place which may allow us to lower your debt up to 70%. I was in debt up to here. I made one easy phone call and they cut my monthly payments in half. Take back control of your life. Become completely debt-free in months. Credit card bills, medical bills, repos, any type of unsecured debt. This opportunity will not last. Call now. Call 1-800-230-3768. Here's the answer to tonight's Saturn 2-Minute Drill Trivia Question. We'll get round two going in just a second. But right now, as is customary, we'd like to talk with the rest of our panelists because they weren't spoken with in the first round. Dave Winfield's here. Great to see you. Now, I was going to go on and on about your baseball. You were so good at that. But, you know, that one weird day, the seagull thing. Now, now, that, now that Randy Johnson has, has slain a dove, I, I think you're off the hook. I mean, that's really in the forefront now. Mine was still in one piece when it was <laughs> done. That was accidental, but... Uh, I know, you were just trying to shoo him off, right? Yeah. And absolutely. so was Randy Johnson, of course. He didn't mean to do that. <laughs> um, the, the note I saw that, that really impressed me most is you played with Stevie Wonder, is that true? Well, actually, when I lived here in, in New York area, um, we did do a track. We laid down a track together. Uh, I think he's holding it for his next platinum album. But I haven't heard it yet. But <laughs> well, he's sandbagging was, some of the good stuff, right? Because he probably, takes his time. He comes out like every five, six years. He doesn't just crank them out. Exactly, he likes to make them good. Exactly. But that was a lot of fun. He's one of my heroes. What, what was it? How did that get arranged? Like, like, how did it come to be? Uh, actually, my friend Bobby Humphrey, who was a music, who's a musician back mm -hmm. here, she put it all together, and it might come on on one of her albums in the future. I just did a little rap line, you know, baby, baby, you know, baby, that was it. <laughs> kind of a Barry, it sounded good. Kind of a Barry White feel, it sounds Somewhat. Like. Yeah. Well, that had to be a thrill, and, and you certainly thrilled all, all the fans you played for. Brooke, the Olympic champion. You, you remember in the, in the Australia games, I forget what country the guy was from, but he, he was like 20 minutes behind the rest, and he had water wings on, a life jacket, the whole thing. What? Did you kind of feel for him when he was gone? It was a, a very exciting race. Um, I remember I was actually preparing for one of my races that day and uh, was uh, standing back behind uh, the competition pool watching him finish. So at least he tried, right? Yeah, he, at least he tried, and, um, you know, he hadn't been swimming very long, and for him to go there and swim at the Olympics, I think he deserved a big round of applause for that. <laughs> Todd Christensen's with us, and he's up there bragging in the uh, green room about his son. Tell us about the whole story. I was indeed. Thank you very much. Uh, championship game, bottom of the sixth inning, Lone Peak High versus Pace, and designated hitter comes up with two outs, scores 0-0, zero to zero, knocks in the winning run in the state championship game. Very proud of my son, TJ. And how old is he, about 18 or so? 17. And that's state high, state high in Utah? That's correct. It's, and you're going to be back doing tackle football coverage? For Looking e forward to that. For yes, ESPN, even with us. Steve Levy. Steve Levy, a terrific partner. Excellent play-by-play -play man. All right, thanks for being here. All of you right now, let's go over the second round rules are just slightly different. Everything's worth a point still, but this time the panelists will be asking questions when they feel like it. The contestant doesn't actually get to choose where the questions come from. They'll all have something to do with sports. Now, under international rules of play, the player who went second in the first round goes first in the second round in the event of a tie. We are tied at 12-12, so that's Vino, that's you, sitting in the chair. All right, you understand the rules? Yes, I do. Now, don't jump the gun this time, okay? I have to say that line because okay. there's a director and he's all excited. Ready? Your two-minute drill begins now. In 1999, who became the first sisters to win a Grand Slam tennis double title together in the 20th century? Venus and Serena Williams. Right. 
In May 2001, which NFL star returned to the Cincinnati Reds and hit a home run in his first regular season game? Deion Sanders. True. Which Red Sox Hall of Famer ended the 1941 All-Star Game with a walk-off home run? Ted Williams. Right. Which Hall of Fame center was the first African-American coach in the NBA? Bill Russell. Right. Which former Monday Night Football announcer threw for 14 career NFL TDs even though he was a halfback? Don Meredith. Frank Gifford. A hip problem forced which Orioles slugger to retire before the 2001 season? Albert Bell. Right. In 1997-98, which Sacramento King guard averaged over 20 points per game for the 10th straight season? Pass. Mitch Richmond. The 1998 movie Without Limits tells the life story of which American Olympic distance runner? Steve Prefontaine. Sure. Which former Michigan quarterback was the highest rated NFL passer in the 2000 season? Elvis Garback. Brian Greasy. Goalie Mike Vernon won the 1997 Conn Smythe Trophy as a member of the NHL team. Detroit Red Wings. Right. Which Cubs pitcher led the National League with a 941 winning percentage in 1984? Rick Sutcliffe. Right. Which Phoenix Suns head coach was named NBA Coach of the Year for the 1988-89 season? Cotton Fitzsimmons. Sure. Terry Glenn was referred to as she by which head coach during the 1996 preseason? Bill Parcells. Right. Which Mariner was the only person other than Ricky Henderson to lead the American League in stolen bases in the 80s? Harold Reynolds. Sure. What is the last name of the Australian World Cup skier nicknamed... Austrian. Austrian World Cup skier nicknamed the Herminator? Nicky Lotta. Mayor. Which Arizona big man led the Pac-10 in blocks for the 1999-2000 season? Lorne Lorne Woods. Right. Which reliever in the 1970s and 80s was known as the Eagle? Jim Kern there just before the buzzer. You go from 12 to 24. You're consistent. You've got the lead. You guys can swap places. Find out if Vino's lead is going to stick. They're taking their time. They want to bond with each other. All right. Uh, you saw how it works, right? Yes, I do. Now, if you get 12, we'll be tied, and we'll have to go to a tiebreaker. Okay. So you don't want that, do you? No. No. All right. You saw the rules. Yep. Questions are flying at you. Yep. Your two-minute drill begins now. In a 2001 trade, the Mavs picked up which Fab Five forward from the Washington Wizards? Jawan Howard. Right. In golf, what common name is used for a one wood club? Driver. Sure. Which Padres reliever saved at least 40 games for the third straight season in 2000? Trevor Howe. Right. Woody Hayes collected 205 wins as the head football coach of what Big Ten school? Ohio State University. Right. How many laps of a standard Olympic swimming pool does it take to complete a 200 meter race? Four. Yeah. Which catcher was the final batter in the 2000 World Series? Pass. Piazza. What is the nickname of longtime NFL coach Awale Andrews Phillips? Bum. Right. Which prolific Pistons scored the most points in the NBA in the 2000-2001 season? Say it again. Which prolific Piston scored the most points in the NBA? Jerry Stackhouse. Right. In the 2000 season, which 12-year veteran led the AFC in sacks while playing for the Dolphins? Trace Armstrong. Right. Which National League franchise had a ban on facial hair from 1967 through the 1998 season? Say it again, Dave. Which National League franchise? Cincinnati had a... Reds. Right. In the 2000-2001 season, which guard led the NBA in assists per game for the third year in a row? Say it again, Dave. I'm sorry. In the 2000-2001 season, which guard led the NBA in assists per game for the third year in a row? G. John Stockton. Jason Kidd. Which Colorado Avalanche player holds the NHL record for most career assists by a defenseman? Ray Borg. That's right. Which Vikings running back was the AP's 1973 NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year? Pass. Chuck Foreman. In 1983, which Pittsburgh Pirate won the fourth and final NL batting crown? Bill Manley. Right. Which longtime ESPN anchor woman is also the host of ABC's Wide World of Sports? Donna Debra. Robin Roberts. Roberts. Oh. Robin's going to be so sad. Look at that look you're giving me now. <laughs> you could have gone into the tiebreaker with the Robin Roberts, the talented Robin Roberts. Right. Also the name of an old pitcher, right? Baseball player? Absolutely. Think of uh, sorry to see you go, but uh, you do get a shiny quarter. I'm going to give it to you All that right. myself. Vinod moves on. He's the man. You can stay right where you are. Stay right there. We're coming right back for the question of great significance and a little discussion beforehand.
Time for the Lee Dungarees Two Minute Drill Trivia Question. Here's Reggie! What if I told you he was the reason the city never slept? Winning Time, Reggie Miller versus the New York Knicks. Directed by Dan Cloris. Sunday, March 14th at 9. Part of ESPN Films 30 for 30. Hi, I'm John Shear, CEO and founder of Video Professor. I'm the guy that gives away all the free computer learning lessons. Well, I've given away hundreds of thousands of my free computer learning lessons, and I'm not done yet. If you call right now, I'm going to send you this learning CD free. Do you want to join the millions of people who are making money on eBay? Now, I'm not going to tell you that I can make you the next millionaire selling an attic full of baseball cards, but I can guarantee you I'll teach you everything you need to know about eBay. And with over 60 lessons on all of today's most popular computer programs, I know that there's more you're going to want to learn. If you call right now, I'm going to send you this learning CD free. Try my product. Call now and get your great learning CD absolutely free. You'll see how fast and easy you can learn eBay, Windows, Excel, PowerPoint, or any other video lesson. Call now to get the skills you need to succeed. Just pay shipping and processing. Call 1-800-260-8492. That's 1-800-260-8492. Here's the answer to tonight's Lee Dungarees Two Minute Drill Trivia Question. Back on the Two Minute Drill, Vinod Velikature has moved on in the tournament. He prevails. He's won $5,000 and goes on into the second round, but real soon is going to answer the question of great significance. And I'm sorry if I slightly mispronounced your name, Vinod, right? Not Vinod. Vinod. Yeah, I got you mixed up with another guy I know named Vinod. Um, <laughs> you chose badminton champions of the 1970s, right? Not exactly. Uh, no, you chose the uh, 97 Kansas City Chiefs, and why? Why not the 98 or the 96 Chiefs? They didn't go to the playoffs, and they weren't very good. Okay. And the 97 Chiefs were a team that was not expected to do anything that year, and they came together and played tremendous football that year, and I was a huge fan of them. So, what do you think about Joe Montana finishing up there? Unfortunately, we didn't get Joe when he was really kind of more in his prime. If if it were, we probably would have gone to the Super Bowl. All right. The question's not about Joe, so it doesn't really matter. I just thought I'd throw that in. Come right back and watch us as we ask Vinod the question of great significance. <laughs> Time for the original Coors two-minute drill trivia question. You gotta talk to one of those girls tonight. Okay, listen, Steve, uh, you're an ex-bullfighter. Ben, you're a, a romance novel cover model. I'm a plastic surgeon who only does pro bono burn work. And Josh, there's only three girls, so just be yourself. Doctor. There are captains in every crew. Calling all captains! Drink responsibly. The Cadillac CTS Sports Sedan. One of car and driver's ten best for the third year in a row. And now, for qualified current lessees, Cadillac announces the new luxury collection lease. National Debt Report. If you have any type of debt, call now for a free debt report. There are laws in place which may allow us to lower your debt up to 70%. I was in debt up to here. I made one easy phone call and they cut my monthly payments in half. Take back control of your life. Become completely debt free in months. Credit card bills, medical bills, repos, any type of unsecured debt. This opportunity will not last. Call now. Call 1 800 230 3768. Uh, Carlos Pena or Raul Banez? 20 seconds. Seriously? Okay, need a big bat. Daddy needs some RBIs. Let's see. Carlos had 100, Raul had 93. Carlos is younger, but I like the sound of Raul. Five, Raul. Definitely better to four, chant than Carlos. Plus, he's bald. When am three, I going to lose my hair? Dude, focus. Two, need a big bat. Vicente Padilla. Five pitchers in a row? <laughs> Interesting. ESPN Fantasy Baseball. Sign up for free at ESPN.com. Here's the answer to tonight's original Coors two-minute drill trivia question. 
ESPN's Two Minute Drill is brought to you by Saturn. Now with two distinctively different car lines, the L-Series and S-Series. And by Original Coors. Nothing beats an original. We're back on the Two Minute Drill. This guy, Vinod, claims to know a lot about the 1997 Kansas City Chiefs. We're going to find out now as we ask him the question of great significance. Pretty dramatic, huh, Vinod? Very dramatic. One of the high points of the Kansas City Chiefs 1997 season was the blowout win over the 49ers. You came into the game with an 11-1 record. To add another 5,000 to your pile, tell me the final score of the game. That's easy. Then tell me the names of the five Chiefs who scored touchdowns that day. Do I start now? I don't have to say that line again. You're right. Hit me. Tony Gonzalez. He did. Mark McMillan. He did. Joe Phillips. He didn't. Andre Risen. I'm sorry. Risen was right, but you missed just previously. Ted Richardson, Tony Richardson. Ted Pops and Marcus Allen. How about for an extra 50 cents? What was the score? 44-9. 44-9 nine. Nine was correct. But you still got your 5,000 bucks. You are going into the second round. We'll see you there. Thank you all for being involved. Great job. We'll see you next time on ESPN's Two Minute Drill. Another chance to play along with Two Minute Drill. Log on to ESPN.com now for Enhanced TV. Another episode of ESPN's Two Minute Drill is next. Two Minute Drill has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on sports. We bring you Home Run Derby, where each week the leading home run hitters of the major leagues will compete in a home run hitting contest. You'll meet such stars as Duke Snyder, Eddie Matthews, Rocky Calavito, Ernie Banks, Mickey Mantle, Henry Aaron, Harmon Killebrew, Willie Mays, and many others. Hi there, everyone. I'm Mark Scott. Today on Home Run Derby, Ken Boyer, winner of our last contest, will meet a fellow National Leaguer, Hammerin' Hank Aaron. Let's meet them, shall we? Come on in, fellas. Kenny, good seeing you again. Nice to be back, Mark. Thank you. Henry, welcome to your first time on Home Run Derby. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Fellas, today you're going for the big money. The winner will receive $2,000. The loser, $1,000. As an added bonus, any time either one of you should hit three consecutive home runs, you'll receive an additional $500. The fourth home run in a row is worth another $500. And each consecutive home run after that is worth an additional $1,000. Now you'll play nine innings, and you'll each get three outs per inning. Any ball not hit out of the ballpark is an out. You don't have to swing at every pitch, but if the ball is in the strike zone, and you don't swing at it, that also constitutes an out. Head umpire Art Passarella will call the strikes. Now, do you have any questions? No questions. I understand. Now, the pitchers are out there to throw the ball over the plate. They're batting practice pitchers, and they'll work every other inning. As the winner of the last contest, you'll act as the home team, which means that you'll bat first, Henry. We're all set, so let's play ball, and good luck to both of you. Good luck. Thank you. We'll start home run derby in just a moment. You get out of your vehicle what you put into it. So for services big and small, join the 11 million drivers who turn to us. The good wrench experts at their Chevy, Buick, and GMC dealer. Real experts bringing you real value every day. Like these three great services for only $39.95 or less. Good wrench. Expert care right at your dealer. Medicare. It doesn't cover everything. And what it doesn't cover can cost you some money. That's why you should consider an AARP Medicare Supplement Insurance Plan insured by United Healthcare Insurance Company. All Medicare Supplement Insurance Plans can help pay some of what Medicare doesn't, so you could save thousands of dollars in out-of-pocket expenses. Call now for this free information kit and Medicare guide. If you're turning 65 or you're already on Medicare, you should know about this card. It's the only one of its kind endorsed by AARP. See if it's right for you. All Medicare supplement plans let you keep your own doctor or hospital that accepts Medicare.
There are no networks and no referrals needed. Help protect yourself from some of what Medicare doesn't pay and save up to thousands of dollars in potential out-of-pocket expenses with an AARP Medicare Supplement Insurance Plan insured by United Healthcare Insurance Company. Call this toll-free number on your screen now for this free information kit, including this Medicare guide and customized rate quote. Visit your Chevy, Buick, and GMC dealer for a $50 mail-in rebate on tires, along with our tire price match guarantee. Goodrich, expert care right at your dealer. ABC, your home for the NBA Sunday Showcase. Kobe Bryant and Dwight Howard take center stage for a finals rematch. Coverage begins Sunday at 2 on ABC. Play ball! Well, it's the top half of the first inning. Henry Aaron against Kenny Boyer as two great National League sluggers get together here on Home Run Derby. Henry Aaron up. Ken, you may have your work cut out for you this week. I'll uh, probably have to go a little better than last week. I was real lucky. There's the first swing, and already there's one. It's going, going, gone over the left field wall for a home run. Hank Aaron out in front, one to nothing here in the top of the first. One swing, one homer. He could hit out of that sick bed, couldn't he? <laughs> what a one. Ground ball, one out. Home run or nothing here on Home Run Derby. Hammer and Henry Aaron against Kenny Boyer here in this week's contest on Home Run Derby. High fly ball back deep in the left field. It's going away back, and she's gone over the left center field wall. Henry Aaron out in front, two to nothing in the top half of the first. He's mean. High pop up. That'll be two out. Two away. It's a home run or nothing here on Home Run Derby. Kenny Boyer, his last week's winner, having defeated Harmon Killebrew by a score of three to two in a thrilling ball game. Three outs. A ground ball, and that's all. But Hank Aaron picks up two homers in the top half of the first inning, and the score at the end of a half inning of play, Hank Aaron two with Ken Boyer coming up. Henry, you didn't take long the first swing out of the ballpark. Well, I just got luck in a little wind behind me. Henry, just take a look at that flagpole. That wind is not blowing one little bit out there. Well, it was blowing just a teeny bit. <laughs> oh, I couldn't have been blowing much of that just a couple of seconds ago. Here's Kenny Boyer coming up. Last half of the first, Henry Aaron out in front by a score of two to nothing. In contrast to last week's ball game, this one could be a big scoring game. Foul ball on play. It's one out. Fly ball to right. Two outs. Shallow. Just got under them just a little bit. Just a little bit. Swinging late on it, too. Two outs. There she goes. Way back, and it is gone over the left field wall for a homer. Yeah, he really hit that one, didn't he? He got a good piece of it, good hunk of it. It's two to one now. Hank Aaron out in front of Kenny Boyer. Another one is going away back, and... Gone over the left field wall. It's tied up at two to two. Gonna be real tough. I see that. That's two in a row. Another one is worth five hundred dollars. Three outs. Nope. He grounded it foul, and that's all. But Kenny Boyer picks up two home runs here in the bottom half of the first inning, and the score at the end of one inning of play: Henry Aaron two, Kenny Boyer two. Kenny, you had a chance for three in a row. <laughs> I had a chance, that's right. I didn't I didn't wait on a good pitch. I think I might have swung on a the ball there. Well, the one thing for sure, though, you weren't intimidated. You tied him up at two to two. Well, I, you, I know I'm going to have to hit a few to be, beat this boy because uh, he, he can hit him. Here's Henry Aaron. Pitch does not count. Henry Aaron got two in the top of the first with Kenny Boyer bouncing back with two in the bottom of the first. High pop-up. One out. But it took you nine innings to get three home runs last week against Harmon Killebrew. You got two in the first here today. Line drive out into left center field. Two outs. Two outs. Line drive in the left. And three that's away. all. Henry Aaron comes up with no runs in the top half of the second inning. And the score going into the bottom of the second inning is Ken Boyer two, Hank Aaron two. Henry, you hit two right on the button, but didn't get under him enough. Yeah, just couldn't get the ball up. I think uh, next time I'm going to be swinging up a little bit more. Just cut up under it a little yeah, bit more? Yeah, just a little bit more. 
Well, here's Kenny Boyer batting in the bottom half of the second inning. We're all tied up at two to two. How ball what a it out. Incidentally, the pitcher who throws the most home run balls will also receive a bonus. High pop up, two away. Two outs. Fly ball sliced into right field. It'll stay in the ballpark. Three outs. And that's all for Kenny Boyer in the last half of the second inning and the score at the end of two innings complete. Hank Aaron two, Kenny Boyer two. Kenny Henry left the door open for you, but you didn't close it. No, I didn't. I sure didn't. Well, you're still all tied up there two to two. How would you describe Henry's swing for me? Well, he's uh, he's what we say uh, call a wrist hitter. He he uh, he times the ball, lunges into it, and then, and then uh, strictly with the wrist. High pop up. He starts. He goes toward that pitcher when that pitcher starts towards him with that shoulder. He keeps what that up? left shoulder down real good, and then and it's all with the wrist after that. Just just flex, turns the wrist. Flex it out there. Henry Aaron batting top half of the third. We're all tied up at two to two. High fly ball slicing into right center field. This could go. It's a way back, but he's in the ballpark. There's two outs. Right in the beautiful part of the park. For you. 4-12. 4-12. Three outs. That's a line drive out. I'll break a shortstop leg. Yes, it would. And that's all in the top half of the third inning. The score remains. Henry Aaron, two. Kenny Boyer, two. Henry, I notice you stand way back deep in the batter's box. Why? Well, that's because I can see the curveball a little bit better, you know, and I like to give pitchers a lot of room to throw that ball. They tell me throughout baseball you don't have any trouble with the fastball. Well, I have my trouble, but uh, I try to overcome it, you know. I try to work on that uh, problem. We're all set. Here's Kenny Boyer. Swings on the first pitch and sends it high and deep into left field. She is gone over the left field wall, and Kenny Boyer goes out in front. Three home runs to two. High pop up to straight center field. That's one out. One away. Kenny Boyer broke the tie here in the bottom of the third. Now leads Henry Aaron by three home runs to two in our home run hitting contest. It's two away. That's two out. The ball seemed to be sinking. Yeah, that one seemed like it went down just a little bit. Swinging a high fly ball, belted high and deep in the left center field. It is. Three out. Way back there, but in the ballpark for an out. And that's all. Kenny Boyer picks up a home run on the bottom of the third. And at the end of three innings of play, it's Ken Boyer three. Hank Aaron two. Now let's take time out for a moment. Winning time. Sunday, March 14th at 9. Part of ESPN Films 30 for 30. Uh, Carlos Pena or Raul Banez? 20 seconds. Seriously? Okay, need a big bat. Daddy needs some RBIs. Let's see. Carlos had 100, Raul had 93. Carlos is younger, but I like the sound of Raul. Raul? Definitely better to chant than Carlos. Plus, he's bald. When am I gonna lose my hair? Dude, focus. Need a big bat. Vicente Padilla. Five pitchers in a row? <laughs> Interesting. ESPN Fantasy Baseball. Sign up for free at ESPN.com. Celebrate the New Orleans Saints' first Super Bowl win with Sports Illustrated's exclusive championship package. You'll get this must-have NFL Films DVD, The New Orleans Saints, Super Bowl 44 Champions. Plus, this limited edition hardcover book captures the incredible Saints with SI's famous writing and photography. Go to SITVOrder.com or call now and get both free with a paid subscription. 56 issues for only $1.59 an issue. Save 68% off the cover price. Use your credit card, and as a bonus, you'll also get this officially licensed football honoring the champion Saints. Designed exclusively for SI, it features scores from the entire season and includes a display stand and certificate of authenticity. City. Don't miss out on this special offer. Go to SITVOrder.com or call now to get the official DVD, the commemorative book, and the collectible football. Go to SITVOrder.com right now or call 800-368-7100. Back to home run derby and the top of the fourth inning. Kenny, it didn't take you long to break the tie. Well, we got one up. We're going to need all we can get, I think. Well, Henry is a great, great, great hitter both for average and for distance. I'll tip. What a one. one out. This ballpark has been selected because it favors neither an American or a National League player. The 
fences are of equal distance with no advantage to a right or a left-handed hitter. Pop up foul. Two away. Two out. Henry doesn't strike out too much, does he? Very little. He hits all pitches. Bad balls. High fly ball into straightaway center field, but it's not going to carry. And that's all for Aaron. Three outs. Going down in order here in the top half of the fourth inning. And the score going into the bottom half of the fourth is Ken Boyer, three. Hank Aaron, two. Henry, you're a right-handed batter against a right-handed pitcher. Does the way the pitcher throws make any difference to you? No, I prefer seeing a right-hander than a left-hander because I get a little anxious when I see a left-hander. Kenny Boyer swings on the first pitch and lifts a high fly ball into left center field. What a That's one out. The bottom half of the fourth inning. Boyer out in front of Aaron by a score of three to two. Last week, Ken Boyer defeated Harmon Killebrew by a score of three to two. An identical score to this one right now. Line drive belted high and deep, away back, way, way back, and gone over the left center field wall. Yeah, he really belted that one, didn't he? <laughs> Boy, he put wood to that one. It's a four to two ball game now, Kenny Boyer leading. High pop up. Two out. That'll be two out. Ken Boyer has more home runs here in three and two thirds innings than he had last week in nine complete. High pop up foul, and that's all. Three outs. Kenny Boyer picks up a home run in the bottom half of the fourth inning, and at the end of four complete, it's Boyer four, Aaron two. Well, Kenny, you said you wanted to average a home run an inning. You have four and in four innings. I didn't say that. I said I wanted to get one every inning after that first one. Ground ball, one out. What he a looks one. formidable up there, doesn't he? He's mean. Pretty good one, two punch him and Matthews. There she goes, way back, way back, and gone over the left field wall. It's a four to three ball game. Two outs. Some shortstop with backhand that choked him to death, wasn't it? <laughs> That's a ground ball in and out. Three Henry away. Aaron picks up a home run here in the top half of the fifth inning, and the score of the contest at the midway point is Ken Boyer four, Hank Aaron three. Henry, you're hitting that ball solidly, all right. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of base hit, but it just don't count. <laughs> they just don't count here. High fly ball in the straightaway center. One out. One out. Ball just missed having that good sound to it. Four to three, Kenny out in front. Look out, way back, and gone. You can say that again, that's way gone. <laughs> he got good wood on that one. Five to three, Kenny leading. High fly ball into left center field. It's going to be in the ballpark. Two outs. And they're two away. Kenny Boyer leads by a score of five to three. Last week, Ken defeated Harmon Killebrew three to two. Line drive built into left field, and it is gone over the left field wall. It's now a six to three ball game. Oh, boy, he's really hitting that ball now, isn't it? Ground ball, and that's all. And at the end of five complete, it's Ken Boyer six and Hank Aaron three. Kenny, it looks like you've found the range. Well, I'll tell you, I just don't feel secure until I get about 12 or 15. Ken Boyer leading by a score of six to three. Foul ball. What a That's an out. So there's one away in the top half of the sixth. There she goes. Goodbye. Wow. Didn't leave any doubt about that one. No, he didn't. It's a six to four ball game. He picked up a low pitch that time, too. An off his shoe. High pop up, two away. Two out. I see what you mean about not being safe with Aaron no. up here. No, I, if I'm ahead of the last of ninth, I'll be thankful. Foul ball, and that's all. Three out. Hammer and Hank Aaron picked up a home run in the top half of the sixth inning, and the score going into the bottom of the sixth is Ken Boyer six. Hank Aaron, four. Henry, that was a very low pitch that you hit your home run on there. Yeah, well, it still, it was in the strike zone, though. It was in the yeah, strike zone. Yeah, it was zone. in the strike zone. Here's Kenny Boyer up the last half of the sixth inning. Boyer leading six to four. What a ball, one out. Ken had two in the first, one in the third, one in the fourth, and two in the fifth. Two outs. Ground ball, two out. Line drive. Would have been a base hit. Three yeah, away. it was. But it's just an out here. 
And that's all. Kenny Boyer goes down in the last half of the sixth inning, and the score, Kenny Boyer, six. Hank Aaron, four. Now let's take time out for a moment. You got to talk to one of those girls tonight. Okay, listen. Steve, uh, you're an ex-bullfighter. Ben, you're a, a romance novel cover model. I'm a plastic surgeon who only does pro bono burn work. And Josh, there's only three girls, so just be yourself. Oh, doctor. There are captains in every crew. Calling all captains! Drink responsibly. What? Giant peanut with sea salt. Dude, you're freaking me out. Hey, getting really sick of this, Gary. Planters with pure sea salt. National Debt Report. If you have any type of debt, call now for a free debt report. There are laws in place which may allow us to lower your debt up to 70%. I was in debt up to here. I made one easy phone call and they cut my monthly payments in half. Take back control of your life. Become completely debt free in months. Credit card bills, medical bills, repos, any type of unsecured debt. This opportunity will not last. Call now. Call 1-800-230-3768. Back to home run derby and the top of the seventh inning. Kenny, we're coming down to the last third. And I don't have enough. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, here comes Henry Aaron striding up to the plate. Hank picked up two home runs in the first, one in the fifth, one in the sixth, trails by two. Kenny Boyer out in front, six home runs to four. High towering fly ball. I believe it's going to stay in the ballpark. One out. And it does. One out in the seventh inning. Line drive way back. She's going, going, and gone. And it's six to five. There she goes. Way back. So long. And that's two in a row. Ties it up at six to six. One more home run. It'll be $500. Three home runs in a row for either player, any player, any time. It's an added bonus of $500. High pop-up. Just got under it. Got under it a little bit too much. Go away. That's two out. You know, if he hadn't been under those uh, last two that he missed, could have been four in a row. Right. Henry Aaron has tied it up six to six here in the top of the seventh. Foul ball, and that's all. Three outs. That was a sigh of relief from Kenny Boyer. Two home runs for Hank Aaron here in the top half of the seventh inning, and the score going into the bottom of the seventh is Ken Boyer six. Henry Aaron, six. Henry, you had two in a row and chance for a third for a bonus of $500. What happened? Well, I just got on that one just a little bit. The last half of the seventh. We're all tied up, fans, at six to six. Right through the middle. What a way. Henry Aaron has come from behind here, trailing at one time six to three. Locked it up six to six. Round foul. Two away. Would you rather hit uh, 400 or 60 home runs in one year? I'd rather do it both, see how I'd feel. <laughs> Round foul, and that's all. As Kenny Boyer goes down scoreless here in the bottom half of the seventh inning, and the score at the end of seven complete, Hank Aaron, six, Kenny Boyer, six. Ken, you seem to be hitting over those balls in that inning. Yeah, I was topping the ball that time. I was getting low pitches. Takes that pitch inside. Pitch does not count unless it's in the strike zone and the batter doesn't swing at it. High pop up, one out. One away. Eighth inning. Eighth inning. Henry got one in the fifth, one in the sixth, two in the seventh to tie it up. High fly ball, there she goes, so long into orbit. Well over the left center field wall. Henry Aaron takes the lead for the first time. Seven to six. You kissed that one. Two away. Fouls it off. Two out. Hank Aaron out in front of this contest for the first time, picking up a home run here in the eighth inning to go out in front seven to six. Look out. 
So long until tomorrow. Well over the left center field wall, it's an eight to six ball game with Henry Aaron leading. Two home runs sandwiched in between outs here in the eighth. There goes two in a row. Wow. And that's two home runs in a row. Another one is worth $500 to Henry Aaron, who now leads nine to six. Three home runs in the top of the eighth. A tremendous display of power by Hank Aaron. Hello, 500, it may go. It's a way back and stays in the ballpark. Out. Man, he just didn't quite get it far enough. He went down in his bed for three in a row. Hank Aaron picks up three home runs here in the top half of the eighth inning. Now leads Kenny Boyer nine to six. Well, Henry, we spoke about your nervousness before. It certainly doesn't affect your hitting. Well, no. Uh, once I put on this uniform and step on that plate, uh, everything seemed to disappear. Nervousness and all, you know. But before a ball game or any time I put this uniform on, I'm always nervous. Well, I think you're tense and, and want to go. You're chomping at the bit. Yes, uh, I feel good right now, and I'm seeing the ball a little bit better. Wonderful. Here's Kenny Boyer, the last half of the eighth inning, trailing by three. High pop-up. One out. Foul territory. There's one out. He missed us. Still don't feel safe with this boy at the bat, though. <laughs> Kenny Boyer, in his game against Harmon Killebrew, had to come from behind. Now he's faced with the same problem here. Away. Ground ball, two out. Hank Aaron leading nine to six, last half of the eighth. Remember, next week, the winner of this contest against another outstanding major league slugger. High fly ball into left field. That's going to stay in. Three out. And that's all for Boyer in the eighth inning. For the third consecutive inning, Kenny Boyer failed to hit a home run, and the score going into the top half of the night is Hank Aaron nine, Kenny Boyer. Six. Ken, the pressure's really on now. Looks like I'm in some kind of trouble, doesn't it? Well, I would not say you're in trouble as yet. You're never in trouble until you've had that last out. Well, that's true. Here's Henry Aaron, top half of the ninth inning, leading nine to six. What a way. That's an out. It's a shame to call a it's base hit today. like that an out, isn't it? It's an out today. It's an out today. Had a good crack to it. Two out. Ground ball, two away. Time, hold it up. Mickey Mantle twice had nine home runs in one ball game. Harmon Killebrew once. Three out. Ground ball, and that's all for Hank Aaron in the top of the ninth inning. And the score going into the last half of the ninth inning is Hank Aaron nine, Ken Boyer six. Henry, all you can do is sit and wait now. That's all I can do and just hope he just hit two. Just hits <laughs> two. You're out in front by three home runs. Here comes Kenny Boyer, the last half of the ninth inning. Hank Aaron leading nine to six. Line drive down the left field line. It is against the wall. What a one. A little bit, a little bit up. He'd have hit that one over the fence. Yes, he would have. The ball had a good sound to it. Yes, it did. One out. Two outs. Line drive, two outs. Coming right down to the end. Kenny Boyer needing three to tie, four to win the last half of the ninth. High fly ball in the left field. Three out. And that's all as Henry Aaron wins it by a score of nine to six. We'll be back to talk to Hank Aaron and Kenny Boyer in just a moment. Celebrate the New Orleans Saints' first Super Bowl win with Sports Illustrated's exclusive championship package. You'll get this must-have NFL Films DVD, The New Orleans Saints, Super Bowl 44 Champions. 
Plus, this limited edition hardcover book captures the incredible saints with SI's famous writing and photography. Go to SITVOrder.com or call now and get both free with a paid subscription. 56 issues for only $1.59 an issue. Save 68% off the cover price. Use your credit card, and as a bonus, you'll also get this officially licensed football honoring the champion saints. Designed exclusively for SI, it features scores from the entire season and includes a display stand and certificate of authenticity. City. Don't miss out on this special offer. Go to SITVOrder.com or call now to get the official DVD, the commemorative book, and the collectible football. Go to SITVOrder.com right now or call 800-446-1200. Tonight, fourth-ranked Duke battles number 23, Maryland. The action tips at 7 with UConn Notre Dame. Well, Kenny, it took one of the best to beat you. With this check for $1,000, that's a total of $3,000 that you've won on Home Run Derby. Congratulations. Thank you, Mark. Good luck, Henry. Thank you, Ken. Well, Henry, you hit nine home runs, which ties the Home Run Derby record for the most home runs in one ball game, and you've won $2,000. Your next opponent will be from the American League, Jim Lemon. Well, I'm going to try to bet my best because I know he's tough. I know that you're both going to be trying. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you. John is at home plate for another exciting contest when Hank Aaron will meet Jim Lemon on Home Run Derby. Home Run Derby is produced with multiple cameras. The players' interviews being recorded simultaneously with the contest. Scott, back at you from the ESPN Research Room. We're running it back for another episode of Stump the Schwab. It is the only game show where you can turn those little nuggets of completely useless sports knowledge into cold, hard cash. But to do it, you first got to get past a man who's loaded with information and loaded with carbs, the Schwab. <laughs> you know, Schwabby, man, it really seems like you're just having a good time this season. I don't think I've ever <laughs> seen you this happy before, ever. <laughs> Y'all better get serious, because the Schwab ain't scared of nothing. Tonight, Schwabby, we got three contestants who would just love to rain on your growling parade. Let's meet them. First up, he is a media buyer in the NYC who actually sang opera at the Met as a child, Adam Wallach. This guy skydives and competes in spicy chicken wing eating contests. He's named after an Indian aircraft carrier, Veek. Dalvey. And from the dirty, dirty Atlanta GA, my man trained with the Israeli Army, but his real strength is tetherball, Micah Hart. <laughs> Micah, I understand you also do some comedy improv. Um, taking a class, so yeah? I'll, I'll let you know in about a month if I'm funny Improv, or not. short for improvisation. That's the idea. Be funny. Be funny? I don't know. I, you got to improvise. What, do you want me to do it in an accent or something? I just want you to be funny. You're taking a class. Be funny. All right. Uh, rabbi, priest, and minister walk into a bar. Ah, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. See, like that's that. funny. Because like you didn't have a joke, but you, that's, that's good. All right, guys, about that whole cold hard cash thing I mentioned earlier. Here's the thing. If you make it to the Schwab showdown, just for getting there, you win $1,000. Stump the Schwab, and it's five grand more. In the semis, the take is up to 15 large, and the championship showdown is worth a cool $30,000. Play it right, and you could 
could walk out the door with over $50,000. That ain't bad, gentlemen, so let's get to it. Our first round is called Leading Off, and here's how you play. I'm going to throw out a question that has multiple answers. One by one, our contestants and the Schwab will give an answer. Each correct response is worth one point. If you are wrong, you're out for only that one question. At the end of this first game, the contestant with the lowest score, done. Out of here. All right? Let's get it started with leading off. Micah, we're going to start with you. Name the 16 NFC quarterbacks who started the opening game of the 2005 NFL regular season. Aaron Brooks. Correct. Veek. Brett Favre. Correct. Adam. I'll say, um... Adam. Oh, yes, I will say, um... Eli Manning. Correct. Schwab. Donovan McNabb. Correct. Micah. Drew Bledsoe. Correct. Veek. Jake Delhomme. Correct. Adam. Kerry Collins. Nope. Opa. Incorrect. You're out for this round. Schwab. Mark Bolger. Correct. Micah. Kurt Warner. Correct. Veek. Tim Rattay. Correct. Schwab. Matt Hasselbeck. Correct. Micah. Kyle Orton. Correct. Vick. Michael Vick. Vick for Vick. Correct. Schwab. Patrick Ramsey of the Redskins. Correct. Micah. Dante Culpepper. Correct. Vick. Joey Harrington. Correct. Schwab. Brian Greasy. Correct. Micah. I think you can get this, Micah. If you think real hard. Can you think of anybody? I'm running out of teams. Nobody else can think of anybody. Oh, there are no more, Michael. I was going to say. <laughs> Michael's like, I, was like well, I know. <laughs> Ain't no more. <laughs> no, it was a good run, man. Just test me. Just test me. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the scores. Schwab has five. Micah has five. Veek has five. Adam has one. The next topic in leading off, Veek, we are starting with you. Name the 12 players on the Utah Jazz 1998 NBA Finals roster. Carl Malone. Correct. Adam. John Stockton. Correct. Schwab. Greg Ostertag. Correct. Micah. Jeff Hornacek. Correct. Veek. Howard Isley. Correct. Adam. Brian, Byron, Brian Russell. Byron Russell. Correct. Schwab. Jacques Vaughn. Correct. Micah. Uh, Antoine Carr. Correct. Veek. David Benoit. Incorrect. You're out for this one round. Adam. Shannon Anderson. Correct. Schwab. Adam Keith. Correct. Micah. Two more on the list. Need an answer? I don't have one. Out for this round. Adam. Need an answer? Got nothing? Got You're out. Schwab. The only one I can think of is Chris Morris. That is correct. Take a look at the scores. Schwab has nine. Micah has seven. Vic has seven. Adam has four. This is the last leading off. Adam, you got some work to do. And we're starting with you. Name the first, the first 16 men inducted as players into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Christy Matheson. Correct. Schwab. Uh, Ty Cobb. Correct. Micah. Honus Wagner. Correct. Veek. Babe Ruth. Correct. Adam. Pie Trainer. Incorrect. You're out for this round. Schwab. Tris Speaker. Correct. Micah. Walter Johnson. Correct. Veek. Lou Gehrig. Correct. Schwab. Hoss Radborn. <laughs> Old Hoss Charles Radborn is correct. Uh, Micah. Cy Young. Yeah, why not? Correct. Veek. Melot. Incorrect. Out for this round. Schwabby. We said Walter Johnson, didn't we? Cap Anson? Correct. Micah. Frankie Frisch? 
No, but I like it when you say fresh. Stop getting fresh with me. <laughs> Schwab. I'm out. Yeah. All right. How about Eddie Collins, Buck Ewing, Nap Lajue? Let's take a look at the final scores. Schwab has 13. Micah has 10. Vic has 9. Adam, you got 5. Doesn't look like you're going to be here long enough for the two-drink minimum. But, Adam, be sure to help yourself to some double-A batteries on the way out, all right? Micah and Veek, one step closer to the money and a seat opposite the Schwab at the final table. We'll find out who when Schwab gets back. Tori, with my swingman glove? I can feel anything. Man, these swingman cleats? Light base pass on fire. Tori was out. Yeah, Tori was out. What? Tori was safe. Hey, I was safe. The Nike Swingman Collection, only at Dick's Sporting Goods. Better athlete, better team. All right, here's the deal. Your Bridgestone tires. Oh, your life. <laughs> Life. For drivers who want to get the most out of their cars, it's Bridgestone or nothing. Could switching to Geico really save you 15% or more on car insurance? Did the Waltons take way too long to say goodnight? Good night, John Boy. Good night, Mary Ellen. Good night, Mama. Good night, Aaron. Good night, John Boy. Good night, Grandpa. Good night, Ben. Good night. Good night, Jim Bob. Good night, night everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, Daddy. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. All I knew was I wanted to work on electronics, obviously. I wanted to have a really successful career at it. My name is Nathaniel Carpenter. I am an information systems analyst. Well, I got my education from ITT Technical Institute. My wife thinks that my choice to go to ITT Tech has definitely helped me to reach the goals that I have for myself, my wife, and our life together. To be able to pick and choose where we want to go and also the lifestyle that we want to live. What I liked about ITT Tech was the fact that um, I liked everything about ITT Tech. <laughs> We are educators helping people build a foundation for the rest of their lives. ITT Technical Institute, education for the future. Call 1-800-488-3116 or visit us on the web. Get an education that can help you reach your goals. ITT Tech has information on financial aid for those who qualify. Call 1-800-488-3116. I'm Anna, leader of the visitors. Thank you again for welcoming us to your world. We have to fight them one step at a time. One of the fall's biggest new series is back. They are everywhere. Their arrival. I need you to be safe. Don't get involved with the visitors. He's the one. We should use him. Was just the beginning. We are of peace. Always. ABC's V. They return Tuesday, March 30th on ABC. ABC, your home for the NBA Sunday Showcase. This week, Kobe Bryant and Dwight Howard take center stage for a finals rematch. The Lakers are in championship form and riding high on top of the Western Conference. That's what he does best. But with Vince Carter teaming up with Orlando Superhero, the Magic are out to prove they have what it takes to bring down the league's elite. NBA Sunday Showcase, presented by Final Fantasy 13. Lakers, Magic, coverage begins Sunday at 2 Eastern on ABC. Stump the swag. What up? Welcome back to Stump the Schwab. Stuart Scott here with Micah and Veek and ESPN's full-figured fact-checker, the Schwab. Veek, I understand that you, you like spicy chicken wing eating contests? Absolutely. Why? It's just the challenge of, you know, crossing the, you know, the barriers of, you know, human, human tolerance, you know, in the stomach. Yeah. yeah, right. And then later on? Well, you know. Well, yeah. It's tough going, it's tough going down. So. Yeah. <laughs> I know why you do it. What does your name mean? My name means, uh, in Sanskrit, victorious and courageous. 
That's why he does it. That's right. Victorious and courageous. We'll, we'll see about victorious. <laughs> Trash talking here on Stump the Schwab. The winner of this round puts a thousand bucks in his pocket and more importantly, gets a shot at five large when he goes mano a mano with El Schwabo. We're clearing the scoreboard for this next game. It's called Dodge the Schwab. Here's how it goes down. We're going to put eight sports figures on the board. Contestants will alternate, choosing names. You're going to alternate. And then answer a corresponding question. But look out, y'all. There are two hidden Schwabs on the board, each of them containing a ridiculously, absurdly difficult question devised by the big man himself. Now, if you uncover a Schwab, you got to decide before even hearing the question if you want to answer it or dodge the Schwab and pass it to your opponent. Regular questions are worth one point. Schwab questions are worth two points. But if you get a Schwab question wrong, you lose one point. Let's play Dodge a Schwab. Vic, choose your first athlete. Let's go with uh, Landon Donovan. <laughs> Guess what, Vic? Schwab question. It's crazy hard. And you can pass it on to Micah if you want, or you can choose to answer it. I think I'll take it. You're going to take it? Sure. Vic, say, I ain't scared. I ain't scared. No, I ain't scared. Scared. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Schwab, he ain't scared. Hit him up, Schwab. What team did Landon Donovan lead to two Major League Soccer championships? San Jose Earthquakes. Guess he shouldn't be scared. He ain't scared. Right. Nice job, Vic. That is correct. You pick up two points. Micah, your turn. I'll take uh, Kevin Garnett. All right, Micah. Kevin Garnett won Mr. Basketball honors from two states while in high school. Name the two states. Illinois and South Carolina. That is correct for one point. <laughs> Veek leads two to one. Veek, choose the next athlete. I'll go with uh, Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor, after his 1981 rookie season, Lawrence Taylor was elected to the Pro Bowl along with what other Giants linebacker? Harry Carson. That is correct, Veek. <laughs> Veek, you lead three to one. Micah, choose Thanks. the next athlete. I'll take uh, Phil Mickelson. In the 2004 Masters, who was runner-up to Mickelson? Uh, Chris DeMarco. That is incorrect. Schwab, you want to hit him up? Ernie Els. Ernie Els is the correct answer. Now, since it's not a Schwab question, you don't lose a point, but you don't gain one either. Veek, score is uh, three to one. Veek, you lead. Choose the next athlete. Stuart, let's try a Martina Navratilova. Veek, in her record nine Wimbledon singles championships, Navratilova defeated what player five times in the finals? Chris Everett. That is correct. <laughs> Vic, you're up four to one. Micah, choose the next athlete. I'll take Roger Maris. What baseball commissioner pushed for a separate home run record for Roger Maris because his season was longer than Babe Ruth's? Bowie Kuhn. That is incorrect. Schwab, want to help him out? Ford Frick. Veek, choose your next athlete. Stu, I'll go with uh, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. How old was Mike Tyson when he became the youngest fighter ever?